Hello everybody, this is Hong Wong with Hong Wong Wuja, and today we're going to do something entirely different. We are going to learn, start learning Chinese calligraphy. Now I've done Chinese calligraphy before, but never with brush and ink, only with uh, pen and paper. As you can see here. So, I've done quite a bit. But as I said, I've never done it with pen and paper. Uh, I did do it for a half an hour. As you can see, it got some marks on my hand before I started this video, mainly to see what size brush I wanted to use. The ink that they use is watercolors, basically. I always thought it was, uh, I always thought it was some kind of a tar-based ink. I didn't know it was, uh, I had no idea it was watercolor. So it's pretty easy to deal with. There's not a lot of uh, mess and all the mess that you make, you can clean up pretty easily. Um, matter of fact, you don't even need to get this. You could just basically, you could probably, uh, you could probably, if you have a kid at home who has watercolors, you could probably use theirs. I would recommend, I would, however, recommend that you use rice paper. You can order packets of these. Uh, they come in like, uh, packets of like 50, 80, 100. Uh, we're going to have to use another sheet anyway. <laughs> but. Yeah, so you, you want to use the rice paper, uh, I guess, because it it, 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 it soaks it soaks up the uh, soaks up the watercolors. Um, like I said, I haven't done it before, so but I would recommend using the, that. That's one thing I would definitely recommend. Uh, in the future, I know uh, after just practicing a little bit with this for a half an hour, I know I'm, I'm probably uh, from now on I'm going to get the uh, the block. So they, they sell, uh, they sell like um, these little uh, blocks with the ink base, and then you just pour a little bit of water, a little tiny little. As you see, like this is probably too much water, but you pour a little bit of this into the uh, into the pan, and then you press it into the pan, and it'll make your ink for you. Anyway, I got uh, I, I purchased these supplies from Amazon. I got the I got the rice paper. Well, the rice paper separately because I, I bought a large quantity of it. <laughs> but for the brushes and these little uh, these little ink jars, and I, I got a set of like uh, three six. I got nine brushes <clears throat> and the ink uh, for less than thirty bucks. And like I said, you could probably just use you use the standard watercolors with the brush there. Uh, you'd be you're probably not going to be, uh, you probably won't be drawing as big, but I'm gonna have to draw uh, sizable ones anyway so that you can see it on the camera, but also my uh, my goal is to get good at it enough to where I can make my own little uh, decorations and stuff. To do that, I'm gonna have to learn to start writing big. All right, so I'm gonna have to come around there and let's get started. Now, I've already poured a little bit of ink into my little into my little bowl here and I've got some water in this one as you can see I've already started to use the brush I, I, every time after you get done you're going to want to clean your brushes that just goes without saying that's any time you use a brush you always want to clean it when you get done all right, everybody. T today we're going to go over the 11 basic brush strokes in Chinese calligraphy. We'll learn a word with each one. How about that? All right. Well, the camera doesn't like to start when I tell it to, so this is the second time I'm going through this. <laughs> All right. So uh, first things first, I shouldn't have done that. All right, so first thing is you want to grip the the way they tell you to grip your, your uh, uh the way they tell you to grip your brush is you want to grip it with your uh your middle finger and your ring finger like so and then put your thumb and your index finger on there and you want to essentially uh, hold it kind of uh, uh at a 90 degree angle to the paper when you start and then uh, move it depending on what you're writing uh the, the the angle that your uh brush will be to the paper will change 
And that, I guess, is going to come with experience. I'm not, I'm not going to have know how to do that right off the bat. All right, the first character we're going to learn is the dot. It's not really a dot, but they call it a dot. In Chinese, it's called dian. And it can go, uh, it goes both ways, kind of like downwards into the right and downwards to the left. Uh, and so the first word that we're going to learn is, uh, it means young or little or small. It is, the word is X-I-A-O, Zhao. And for that, Also, in Chinese, the, uh, when you do calligraphy, uh, there's a certain order to each stroke that you do. We'll go over that next. But for now, there's the two dots. Zhao. Bigger. Zhao. That's too far away. It should be closer. And now, uh, I am, uh, while I have uh, done calligraphy before, only with the pen, so uh, I'm going to be focusing on just doing print. The cursive, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that to weigh in the future. <laughs> Oops, way too far away. And one more. Zhao. That one would have been the best one if this would have been a little bit closer. Actually, my first one looks to be like the best one. <laughs> All right, so the second uh, stroke that we're going to learn is the horizontal and it, it, it's also, in Chinese, it's called hang. And it just, just a line across. Now this is actually a word by itself. So we're not gonna have to do any other strokes. And the word is the number one. Which is spelled Yi, Y-I. I'm not gonna put the uh, accents because I'm not teaching you how to speak English or speak Chinese. <laughs> and I'm not the one to teach. <laughs> E. Oh, sorry, just in case. The third stroke that we're going to learn is Shu, which is the vertical. And uh, essentially just the same thing as the other one, except a uh, vertical line. We start at the top and we go down. Start at the top, and then we go down. Start at the top, press, and then drag the brush down, and then lift. And that's not good because it's not, it should be uh, going exactly horizontal and not going from one side to the next. Now the word that we're gonna learn with this 
this sh, which is s h i, and the it means the number ten. And basically, it's the vertical and the horizontal. It's a cross. It's the vertical and the horizontal line. It should be like in the middle, though. And when you write this one, you should do the horizontal line first. Then do the vertical line. Last one's the best one. All right, now we're going to do down and to the left, or downward left, pie. Start at the top and go down and veer off to the left. Down and veer off to the left. Down, veer off to the left. The word for we'll, we'll learn for this is ren, which means people. And that's R E N. Basically, it is down and to the left. And the next character that we'll learn, or the next stroke that we're going to learn, which is down and to the right. We'll do that a few more times and another piece of paper. See, this is not good. It's too much of an angle. The down and to the right has more of an angle. The down and to the left is, is not much of an angle. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it like a, a, a maybe two reams. Of, we're not in reams, but two packets of these uh, wax papers of holding the brush like this and uh, and then we'll probably I'm uh, <laughs> depending on how I uh, comfortable I can get doing it I'm probably switched to my regular version <laughs> I have an issue with being blind so I have to get like a little closer than most people so the next one is uh, na down and to the right and like I just said, this one has more of an angle. And, and this uh, should, the, the bottom of it should be like, it should be flat. should be flat that that's actually how it should work but I shouldn't have to be coming in here and retouching it it should all be one stroke so let's get a piece of paper <clears throat> so the word that we're going to learn with this one is ba 
which is B, A. And it means the number 8. very similar to the uh, to Ren except uh, with that one it's down and to the left and then down and to the right and they connect this one they don't connect and this is more of like the uh, like a long dot <laughs> and they don't connect they don't touch. That's the best one. Ah, oh, but it's bleeding into it. See, so that kind of screws it up. I should probably take more more time. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, nah. Mm. All right. This next one is upward or T. And uh, the word that we're going to do with it is going to be, it's going to be a difficult one. <clears throat> so for this T, it just you start on the left side and you go upwards. Start on the left, and you go up. Start on the left, and you go up. And the word will be wool. Which means me or I. So this one starts so, 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 and here's your upward. And then the upward stroke. That should come out. That should come out more. And that should come out more. And, and this is not supposed to touch. This dot's supposed to be up here. So we'll do that once more. Nope, starting to run out of ink. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, so we go down. Cross. Horizontal. And we're gonna, I think we do this one next, downward hook. And we go up, the upstroke, what we're doing, learning now.
one more time. That's pretty horrible. Let's see if I can get at least a decent looking one here. <laughs> Now our upward stroke. Not enough uh, ink on my brush. downward and there well not too shabby not too great but not too bad the second one at least well we're about to see went right through the paper so I had to use too much water All right, number seven of the 11 basic strokes will be hengao, which means horizontal hook. And that is essentially that's what it says. We start on the left, put the brush down, we just go to drag it to the right, and then we do a hook. So we drop the brush down and hook. Drop it, drag it, and hug it. Drop it, drag it, and hug it. So the word that we're going to learn for this is you, which is spelled N-I. And, and ni, you start over on the left side. And then we come over here and we go downwards. And then we do our horizontal hook. And then we do the zhao that we learned earlier. So, I'll try and do this one a little bit smaller so I can fit it in here. Horizontal hook. Hey, that one doesn't look too bad. Problem is, is that it should not be touching, so it should be. Horizontal hook and then. The Zhao part shouldn't be touched in the top part of that. All right, the next one that we're going to do is shugao, which is the vertical hook, which we've also already done in two of the words, the last one and the first one. So the vertical hook, down and up, down and hook. Same thing as the horizontal hook, except it's a vertical. So uh, why don't we just do the knee again? 
which is not too shabby there. That original, that first line is way too uh, thick. Is not too shabby. There we go. Ni, the knights who say ni. They're just going, you, you. They said they do that a lot in uh, Chinese. Me, me, me. So that looked a lot better when I did it, but then too much water and it got too, it, it bleed, bled everywhere. This one was not too bad though. That one was nice too until it started to bleed. Alright, so the next one that we're going to do is the slanted hook. Uh, I know my Chinese pronunciation is going to be horrible. It's uh, Zhi, Zhi Go. And the word that we're going to learn for, I mean, is uh, uh, g, which is a dagger or axe. And uh, it's half of the word me. <laughs> so, slant and hook. Okay, and the word that we're going to learn. Good. So here we go. So we go start at the top, slant to the right down and hook. Actually, we're supposed to start here. So we start with the horizontal line. Then we slant down and to the right and then hook up and then down to the left and the dot. So one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. I made it a little too close, but But that was number nine. It would have looked not too bad had it not that started to bleed again. And I'm guessing, yeah, that's that's going to come with experience, knowing, uh, you know, just doing it over and over again, and you know, it's like, like anything else. <laughs> You'll learn how to uh, how to make sure not to do that in the future, just by uh, you know, constant repetition. But constant repetition. That's the secret to doing everything better. So the next one. So the next one is 
Hengche, and it's a uh, horizontal bend. So, and the num uh, the word that we're going to learn for this is the number five, which is pronounced. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the the horizontal bend. You start from the left, you go to the right, and you just come down. Right, come down. Go to the right, come down. Go to the right, come down. And now the word. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. So I did. All right. So I did it wrong. There's supposed to be a thing here. So we go one, two. Three and four. So one, that's way too big. <laughs> Two, three, and four. Horizontal, or vertical, horizontal bend. And a horizontal. This this should not be touching this, but it should be a little bit closer. We'll scratch that. It is supposed to be touching. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do the number five a few more times. So we start with a vertical, horizontal, the bend, and a vertical. There we go. That looks pretty good. Boom, 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 and boom. All right. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal bend, and vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal bend, and horizontal. There we go. That one's not too bad. That one's probably the best one. Although the first one's not too bad either. Just needs to be connected there. All right, so the next one and the final uh, stroke we're going to learn is the uh, downward bend, or the uh, actually the vertical bend, which is, in Chinese, is shu zhe, shu zhe. I think is the pronunciation. And uh, we'll be learning another number with this. So you just go down to the right. And the number we're going to learn is the number seven. And it is pronounced chi. That's a Q. <laughs> And for that, you start off with a horizontal line, and then the downward, or the uh, vertical bend. Now the difference, see this, this, this kind of looks, if, if this was like this, that would more, look more like a, a downward slant. So it should be, Horizontal, down, and then bend out.
from these. <laughs> if I can pick it up. From these, this one and this one look the best. Those two. All right, one more. Uh, we'll do one more page of this. So the horizontal and the vertical bend. 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 Wow, that one, uh, maybe, uh, that one doesn't look too shabby. It does not look too shabby at all. This one wet a little bit too much, and so did the last one. But for the most part, they're all pretty decent. I'll save this one to see what it looks like later after it dries. All right, everyone, this has been Hong Long from Hong Long Wuxia, and this was the first video on Chinese calligraphy. If you liked it, hit the button down below. Share the video with your friends, family, and uh, co-workers, and anyone else you can think of. And uh, hit, the bell for or hit the bell for notifications, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, that being taken care of, uh, if you have any comments about, the, uh, about this, uh, leave them down below. If there's anything that you want me, uh, if, if there's any words that you want, a particular word you want to learn how to do or anything like that, let me know that as well. And uh, we, we'll go over it in a future one. In the next video, we will go over uh, the correct order of the strokes. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, until next time, keep practicing.